while walking down the pavements of New York City, I noticed that every 20 minutes, there is a city bus coming in the opposite direction. And every 30 minutes, there is a city bus overtaking me from behind. What is the time gap between one city bus passing a stationary point known as a local bus stop beside the bus route and immediately next city bus in the same direction passing the stationary point? So basically, we have to find out some time here, right? The time gap between one city bus to the other city bus. And the options given are 27 minutes, 24 minutes, 25 minutes cannot be determined or fifth option, none of these. Now, first and foremost, let us understand the question clearly, right? Because I know half of you have not even understood what the question says. See, now this is about a person who is walking, uh, you know, on, on a road. He finds that every 20 minutes, there is a city bus which comes in the opposite direction. Every 20 minutes, there is a city bus coming in the opposite direction. And every 30 minutes, there is a city bus overtaking him from behind. Right? So basically, if you say, let's say this is the man here. Right? And he's walking in this direction. So what he sees, there are buses coming from behind and there are buses coming in the opposite direction. Right? He's, he's just walking on this path here. He's walking on this path. So buses coming from behind and the buses also coming in the opposite direction. So he notices that every 20 minutes, there is a city bus coming in the opposite direction. So see, these are the buses coming in opposite direction. Right? So since, I mean, as he's moving in this direction there, in the opposite direction of the bus, he finds that every 20 minutes, there is a bus that comes every 20 minutes right so here the interval is 20 minutes right the frequency is that every 20 minutes there's a bus that comes and every 30 minutes there is a city bus overtaking me from behind there's a city bus which overtakes me from behind so it's obvious that when you're moving in this direction also buses come from behind and they, they, these buses will overtake you every 30 minutes right so every 30 minutes there is a bus that overtakes from behind okay now, one important point to be noted here is we are talking about the same city bus. Same city bus meaning similar buses. So the speed of the buses coming in the opposite direction and those coming from behind would be the same. Are you able to follow? Though it is not mentioned explicitly, but it has to be taken for granted because we are talking about city buses. So we will assume that the buses coming in the opposite direction and those coming from behind are all uh, you know, traveling at the same speed. The speed of the buses is same. All the buses is same. Right? Let us assume that the speed of bus is B. Right? Speed of the bus. Whether it is coming in opposite direction or from behind, the bus uh, speed would remain uh, same. Right? Let us assume the speed is B. And let us assume the speed of this man. Speed of this man here is M. Right? So you know that this is going to be a concept of relative speed. Because we see that two objects are moving at the same time. Right? Like when you consider this case, the two bodies are moving in opposite direction. Right? One bus comes in the opposite direction and this person is moving in the other direction there. So basically here the relative speed concept comes into picture. Similarly when you consider the buses coming from behind again both the bodies are moving in the same direction right. The man is moving in forward direction the bus also comes from behind and moves in the same direction. So here again we have the concept of relative speed. So that is the reason uh, we need to know the I mean we need to consider some variables for speeds of bus and man there. So B and M are the speeds respectively. So point number one is that Every 20 minutes, a bus comes from the forward direction. Every 30 minutes, a bus comes from the uh, bus comes from behind. Now again, he says, what is the time gap between one city bus passing a stationary point known as a local bus stop beside the bus route? Now basically, this is the bus route. And let us assume this is the bus stop. Right? This point here is the bus stop. Okay. So he says, what is the time gap between one city bus passing a stationary point known as a local bus stop beside the bus route and immediately the next city bus in the same direction passing the stationary point. So basically we are talking about this stationary point here. He says, how much is the time gap between one city bus passing this bus stop and immediately the next city bus passing in the same direction this bus stop. Are you able to follow? So it, it is like this. It is, it is like this. Let us assume there is a source here. <coughs> this is a station from which buses are coming out. Right? So, it is obvious that after, you know, at regular intervals, buses keep coming out and move in this direction, right? They all move in this direction. Similarly, from here also, the buses are coming out. I mean, at regular intervals, right? The buses, all bus travel at the same speed and they're coming out at regular intervals. And as this person is moving in one particular direction, he finds that the buses coming in opposite direction arrive after every 20 minutes. Those coming from behind will arrive after every 30 minutes, right? Now, he says there is a bus stop here, a stationary point. How much is the time gap between a bus passing this bus stop 
and immediately the next bus passing this bus stop and remember both are moving in the same direction so either we should say you know bus coming from behind pass this bus stop the next bus coming from behind passes this bus stop so what is the time gap between those two buses or if you take the uh, buses coming in opposite direction so if the first bus passes this bus stop at time t after how much time will the second bus pass this bus stop both coming from the opposite direction so either opposite direction or those coming from behind right now like i've told you a very important assumption here is that buses are all moving at the same speed whether they come from behind or they come from forward all of them are traveling at the same speed right because they are all city buses so we have to go with that assumption now you may ask me a question if all of them are traveling at the same speed and all of them are coming out at regular intervals from both the sides why are the times different why is it taking only 20 minutes in opposite direction and 30 minutes in the uh, you know same direction obviously because the concept of relative speed comes into picture you know that when the two bodies are moving in opposite direction see this case this is opposite direction case and this is the same direction case we very well know that when two bodies are moving in opposite direction the relative speed is sum of the speeds so what happens in this case the relative speed is b plus m and because the speed is more the time taken to cover the distance is less but when they are moving in the same direction in this case what happens the relative speed is b minus m the speed of the bus minus speed of the man so when the speed is less the time taken is more so that is the reason that time taken here is more is that point clear to all of you so that is what the question is if you have not started the solution yet we have only understood what the question is now let us see what should be done to arrive at the answer see the point to be noted here is that the distance between <coughs> any two city buses whether they are coming in the opposite direction or i mean i mean let's let's look at two buses starting from this point right two buses starting from uh, opposite direction right the first bus starts then after some time we know that the second bus starts the distance between these two buses let us assume is d now when you look at this case buses which are coming from behind right the first bus starts and after some time right they are starting at regular intervals remember so after some time the second bus starts so what will be the distance between those two buses it will be d only right so the point to be noted is the distance between any two buses which have started from the opposite direction and any two buses which have started from the same direction will be equal this is a very very important point to be noted here you know that buses are starting at regular intervals from both the points right so let us assume this point the first bus starts it is traveling at some speed after a particular time it is pre decided right after some time the second bus would start now both the buses are traveling at same speed so obviously there is some distance between them right the second bus started a little later so there will be some distance which gets created so let us assume that distance is d here what i'm trying to tell you here is that the same distance would be there in case of these buses as well why the buses from both the sides are traveling at the same speed or all the buses are traveling at the same speed you're able to follow so the distance in the two cases is going to be equal are you able to follow the distance in both the cases is going to be equal the distance between two buses which are coming in the uh, coming from the opposite junction and the distance between the two buses which coming from the junction which is behind will remain the same right the two consecutive buses basically right we are talking about two consecutive buses what why is the reason of distance being same remember buses are all traveling at same speed so speed is same and they will obviously travel at regular intervals right i mean the bus coming out like first bus comes at 8am second bus will come at 8:15 third bus will come at 8:30 then 8:45 9 and so on similarly here also if the first bus starts at 7 second bus will start at 7:15 7:30 and so on assuming that the time interval is 15 minutes between them so the point is that distance is going to be same and this is what we are going to use for solving this question here are you able to follow now if you look at it see this this take this case opposite case right when the <coughs> bus and the person are moving in opposite direction right you know that the relative speed is b plus m now this distance is equal right distance i mean this is a statement that i'm writing so that you can understand but while you're solving it in the exam you need not write this distance between buses coming from behind will be equal to the distance between buses coming from opposite direction yes or no the distance between two buses coming from behind will be equal to the distance between 
the two buses coming from the opposite direction right of course we are talking about consecutive buses right when you say buses here we are talking about consecutive buses starting from this point and consecutive buses starting from this point right let us assume that distance is d anyway we have taken it here distance is d now what is distance distance is equal to speed into time right distance is equal to speed into time now distance between the buses coming from behind what will be the speed understand again the point is uh, you, you take this concept of relative speed between the man and the bus right between the man and the bus now since the man is moving in same direction what happens one bus will cross him at this point let's say at this at, at this particular point of time a bus crosses him after some time which is 30 minutes the second bus crosses him so if you look at it we can say that the distance between the two buses is nothing but the relative uh, distance between this man and the bus in the when they are moving in the same direction so we can say that you know we are talking about buses coming from behind or which is same direction so we can say uh, b minus m after how many minutes will he see the next bus 30 minutes so b minus m into 30 is equal to distance between the buses coming from opposite direction see the first bus has started the first bus crossed the man at this point after 20 minutes the second bus crosses so again we can take the relative concept between the man and the bus to find out the distance between the two buses are you able to follow so relative speed between the man and the bus will be b plus m because both of them are moving in the same direction and the time given is 20 minutes into 20 so this is the equation now from this try to find out the ratio between the two speeds which is very important so 30 and 20 anyway zeros get cancelled here 3b minus 3m equals to 2b plus 2m so upon simplification what do you get when you simplify you will get 3b minus 2b b is equal to uh, 2m plus 3m 5m b equals to 5m now this is a very very important conclusion that is the speed of the bus is five times the speed of the man whether they are moving in opposite direction or same direction the speed of the bus is five times the speed of the man right is it is that understood all of you the speed of the bus will be five times the speed of the man now how do we get the time there see uh, you know the distance is either b minus m into 30 or b plus m into 20 right now let us find out the distance distance is here uh, b minus m into 30 so which can be taken as 5m minus m into 30 how much is that 4m into 30 120m so basically the distance is equal to 120 times the speed of the man right 120 times the speed of the man now you you have considered which case i mean basically 120 times the speed of the man what do you have to find out the time the time between two consecutive verses understand the time between time gap i would say the time gap will be equal to the distance between the two buses by the speed of the bus are you able to follow let us assume this is bus one and after some time the bus two starts right now we have to find out after how many minutes the second bus stop uh, second bus starts right and we are assuming that both of them are moving in the same direction either coming from behind or coming in the opposite direction now we have found that the distance between the two buses comes out to be 120 times m Yes or no? Distance between the two buses is 120 times n. Look at our calculation. First of all, we had equated the distance between two buses coming from behind and distance between two buses coming from forward direction, which, which gave us the uh, ratio of their speeds. After that, we find that the distance based on this ratio comes out to be 120 into m, where m is the speed of the uh, man, right? Where m is the speed of the man. Okay. Now, what do we have to find out? The time between the two buses. Time between two consecutive buses. Time gap is nothing but time between two consecutive buses. Now, what is time? Time is equal to distance by speed time is equal to distance between the buses by the speed of bus right now distance between the buses comes out to be 120 m the speed of the bus is b right but b is equal to 5m so substitute that 5m here so we get 120 m by 5m both the m's get cancelled 120 by 5 is equal to 24 minutes and that's your answer 24 minutes option b would be the answer